Hello, I'm Hannes Hultgren. I work here at the Research and Development Department at RaySafe. I would like to tell you a few things about ionizing radiation, which is sometimes referred to as just radiation. We do know that if you are exposed to a lot of radiation, it is dangerous or even lethal. And the exposure is dependent on the type of radiation, the amount of time that you spend in the exposed area, as well as the level or the intensity of the radiation. So let's have a look at a few different sources of radiation. Let's talk about the natural background radiation and the fact that we are exposed to this all the time. And this has been the case for life on Earth for billions of years. So there's basically three types of background radiation. One type is coming from the ground, from rocks like this. And the amount of this radiation depends on where you live and what kind of material your house is constructed by. Then there's also cosmic background radiation coming from space. And we're hit by this radiation all the time because particles from space hit the molecules in our atmosphere and the radiation that is generated from that travels all the way down to us on the surface. Also food is a source of background radiation. Most living things and food contains traces of radioactive elements. For example this banana, it contains potassium-40. Besides the background radiation, there's also other sources of radiation that aren't natural, that are man-made. For example, nuclear medicine, which has brought us lots and lots of advancements during the last decades when it comes to diagnosis and treatment of cancer and other illnesses as well. For example, you can inject a radioactive isotope into the body and follow its way uh, through the organs to diagnose certain functional disorders or diseases in the organs. Radiation can also be used in uh, cancer therapy. Uh, you can simply concentrate a very high dose of radiation to the cancer tumor and that kills it. And of course you try to do this in such a way that you spare the surrounding tissue around the tumor. Another big field where radiation is used is in diagnostic imaging. And that's where we at RaySafe are contributing with our X2 system. And by using X-rays to diagnose patients instead of cutting them open to see what's going on has saved a lot of lives during the last decade. It also gives us the possibility of detecting cancer in a very early stage where it's much easier to treat. For example, with this mammography machine. And by using our X2 system, you can make sure that the first picture you take is a perfect one. So you don't have to take a second picture, which will expose the patient to unnecessary radiation. Another source of radiation are our nuclear power plants. Typically the level of radiation is very low, also for the people who are working inside of the plant. However, there are areas where one should not go without first checking the amount of radiation. For example, with a survey meter. And the circumstances can change very quickly in the case of an accident. Then the levels of radiation can become harmful or even lethal very quickly. To summarize, we are exposed to radiation every day, all the time. There's the natural background radiation, which we can't really get away from. But then there's also man-made sources of radiation. For example, in the medical field or from nuclear power plants. This is the kind of radiation we want to control and we want to minimize the amount of unnecessary radiation that people are exposed to. Thank you for watching.